In Jetpack Compose, you might have noticed sometimes your user interface doesn't behave the way you expect. This is because Compose is declarative. But what happens when you want to update your login event, analytics event, or you want to update your view model states, or you want to update a variable which is outside of your Compose and that's where side effects come into existence. Let's understand what side effects are and we're going to deep dive the very first one, side effects. So for that first I'm gonna build a very simple composable and the composable name is counter screen. In this counter screen we have a counter and a button and text. So let's build the state first counter uh, remember savable mutable state of zero. Just below to it I'm gonna create here a column pass my modifier in it fill max size and it's a vertical arrangement is on the center and it's horizontal alignment is on the center use a button and in its on click we simply use our counter and increase this value by one and in the user interface i'm using here text which simply says increase counter or increment counter we have a spacer just to provide some space modifier height is 16 dp import is dp then we have a text import it and it simply used to show us the counter value all right so when we click this button it simply updates our state which helps the composable to recompose and at the end we have the updated value here on the text import getter setter for this uh, remember savable let's use here print ln so this print ln always print value when our composable recomposes itself. So recomposition of counter screen and here will print the counter value. Copy this, paste in here, use modifier, padding is inner padding and that's it. Now let's execute this. Uh, okay, as you can see recomposition of counter screen is here. So for the first time when it uh, recompose all of the UI tree will receive this information now when i click this you'll see recomposition of counter screen one then recomposition of counter screen two now let's see how we can use side effects here so side effect is mainly used when you want to perform operation outside of this composable scope that means a side effect is any action that affects outside the world from within your composable so let's use here side effect this side effect is a non-suspendable effect handler that means you cannot use here a function that uses suspend or you that uses some kind of coroutine in their execution because it's a very plain lambda here you can see side effects and in its parameter it simply uses a trailing lambda that has no input and no output go back to your main activity i'm simply using this print ln statement and instead of saying this counter screen we'll call this uh, side effect counter screen so side effect is mainly used when you want to perform logging event when you want to perform some kind of analytic events or sometimes you want to perform few updation of your variable that is present outside of your composable screen then we'll use side effect and side effect lambda is executable only when your composable recomposition is successful so let's execute this function and try to understand it because this print ln statement will be printed first because it is present while recomposition but side effect uh, training lambda will be executed once the recomposition of counter screen will be successful. So let's see the order of these two print statements in our logcat execute this uh, application all right so app is executing recomposition of counter screen this is while recomposition this is after the successful recomposition now when i click this button we'll see this statement first this because this is while the recomposition and recomposition of side effect counter screen will be printed only once once the recomposition of our composable screen is successfully done that's how side effect works